What's going on guys, Fanatics here. I bring you a list, the top 15 upcoming most anticipated co-op games of 2022 for PlayStation 5, PS4, Xbox Series, X and S, Xbox One, and PC. It's a list of 15 amazing co-op games, some even couch co-op. The thing about these ones is I found indie titles as well as AAA titles of ones you may or may not have already heard. There's plenty of lists already out there of the most generic, obvious co-op games coming out, but how about some that you've never heard of? Let's jump right in in no particular order. First on the list we have Ark Raiders. Ark Raiders is a sci-fi third-person cooperative PvE shooter which pits you against AI robotic enemies who are falling from orbit relentlessly with no signs of slowing down. Now we don't know a whole lot about this game as it was just recently revealed within the last couple of months, actually I think even just this year in the year 2022, but we know that there's going to be weapons, gear and equipment and then you and your fellow squad mates and friends will need to team up and use the environment to your advantage to take out the threats. Those threats that fall from the sky and roam the land range from small drones to hulking great metal monstrosities. Within the gameplay trailer we have seen traversal tools like a jetpack and gear like a grenade launcher. A press release also has revealed that the game will have loot to collect and that you'll be able to use the game's physics system to your advantage. All we know is that Arc Raiders is set to release in the year 2022 for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC, and it will be free to play. You know what kept me alive all these years? Upkeep, maintenance, vigilance. Of course. Next on the list we have Evil West, and this is actually something I am excited for. It looks phenomenal. I'm super pumped. I can't not wait. Evil West is a one to two player third person action game where you play as a Wild West superhero against over the top looking vampire enemies. The American frontier has been consumed by a dark menace and you being one of the last agents of a top secret vampire hunting institute, it's your turn to rise up and save humanity. Now, that does sound a little cringe, I'm not going to lie, but looking at the gameplay, it looks honestly a ton of fun. Evil West has explosive combat, firearms, gauntlets, and plenty of gadgets to your disposal. Explore and fight in a narrative-driven campaign while upgrading your weapons and hunting tools. As we know, Evil West is set to release in the year 2022 for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Next we have Skate. Skate was actually recently revealed during the Steam and Next Fest, and by the time this video comes out, the demo should still be available until February 28th. Now I've tried the demo and found it to be quite enjoyable and it reminded me a lot of Doom and Quake. If you like any of those aforementioned games, then Scathe is definitely a game to keep on your radar. Scathe is an intense, blood-soaked first-person shooter where quick reflexes are the key to surviving the bullet hell labyrinth that stands between you and your ascension. Rip through the underworld's deadliest demons and collect the hellstones with drop-in, drop-out online co-op gameplay. Scathe is set to release in 2022 for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Nightingale. Nightingale is a shared world survival crafting game set in a rich gas lamp Victorian fantasy setting. Players venture through portals where adventure and mystery awaits across a myriad of beautiful and increasingly dangerous worlds. You can play Nightingale solo or with friends and other players who you meet across the realms. Nightingale will cast players as a realm walker, survivals of a magical cataclysm. Players will explore a variety of dangerous realms accessible by portals as they search for the last bastion of humanity the titular city of Nightingale. Realm walkers will be able to team up and cooperate with other players to gather materials and construct massive settlements and build tools and weapons to battle monsters. Alpha and beta tests are set to begin in 2022. Sign up via their website to get involved and receive updates on when tests will begin. Nightingale is set to release in 2022 in early access for PC only.
up next we have Evil Dead, and I am very excited about this one as well, because Evil Dead the game, which is based off the Evil Dead franchise, which is containing films, TVs, shows, and more, you get to step into the shoes of Ash Williams or his friends from the iconic Evil Dead franchise and work together in a game loaded with over-the-top co-op and PvP multiplayer action. Play as a team of four survivors, exploring, eluding, managing your fear, and managing key items to seal the breach between worlds. Plenty of surprises await in this gore-filled battle against the evil that captures the characters, horror, humor, and action from the franchise. Battle across memorable locations, including the infamous cabin in the woods, brought to life with tons of terrifying visuals and all-new dialogue from Bruce Campbell. Discover more than 25 weapons, including Ash's Gauntlet, Boomstick, and Chainsaw, and advance in variety of skill trees to grow stronger and survive in this fun co-op and PvP experience. Evil Dead the game is set to release May 13, 2022 for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, Nintendo Switch, and PC. So basically, every single platform there is for this game. Now, Warhammer 40k Dark Tide is one of the most anticipated titles of the years from the developers of the best selling and award winning franchise Vermintide. Warhammer 40k Dark Tide is a visceral four player co op action game set in the hive city of Tertium. Fight together with your friends against hordes of enemies in this new Warhammer 40k experience. Stem the overwhelming tides of enemies alongside up to three friends in this harrowing co op experience. Team composition and collaboration are critical and will determine whether or not you secure victory for the God Emperor. Built on the legacy of Vermintide 2's highly praised melee combat, Warhammer 40k Darktide introduces a deep and balanced gunplay to the mix. Master the balance between ranged and melee combat as you fight through a slew of enemies, fueling the impact of each swing of your chainsword or blazing gunfire from your last gun. Choose your class and customize your skill set and loadout, all tailored to suit your own play of style. Upgrade your gear, customize your character's looks, and prove your worth to the elusive Inquisitor. Warhammer 40k Darktide is set to release in 2022 for PC and Xbox Series X and S. We all have our reasons for Babylon's tower to fall. But not everyone has the power to make it happen. You do. Now this next one's called Babylon's Fall. It's a brand new take on developer Platinum Games critically acclaimed signature combat. I don't know a whole lot about this game, and I'm gonna be completely honest, it doesn't look that great. But it is gonna be an online co-op game, and for that I am putting it on the list. In this cooperative action RPG, you take on the role of a sentinel, once conscripted prisoners of the Empire who are granted unrivaled powers by a parasitic device implanted to their back, the Gideon Coffin. Team up with up to three fellow players to reclaim the Tower of Babel. Choose your playstyle for multiple various weapon types, each with their own distinct skills and abilities. Customize your loadout to wield up to four weapons at any time. Experiment with different weapon and armor combos and explore the virtually limitless array of strategic possibilities. Ascend to greatness as you climb the looming Tower of Babel and uncover its fabled treasures. Only by mastering the powers of your Gideon Coffin will you unlock your true potential and become strong enough to survive the summit and uncover the secrets that await. Babylon's Fall is set to release on March 3rd, 2022 for PC, PS4, and PS5. Sons of the Forest is the much anticipated sequel to the horror survival game The Forest. Now unfortunately I actually never played the first one but I gotta say with the amount of positive overwhelmingly positive reviews for that game I can't imagine that this one it could be any worse if not phenomenally better than before. Not much is known as what we, to the new sequel and what it has to offer versus the original Forest. Sons of the Forest looks to be including many of the gameplay elements that worked in the forest. Based off of the trailer players will have to survive the wilderness and constant threat of attack by crafting different items and finding shelter. This of course can be achieved with friends online. In addition to the day and night cycle from the first game, Sons of the Forest will feature new weather mechanics. According to the developers, the terrain can freeze and become covered in snow, making traversal more difficult. It remains to be seen how these elemental changes might affect the player's weapons and items. 
Sons of the Forest release date is set for May 20th, 2022 on PC and potentially PlayStation. With that in mind, that's not too far away, so I can't imagine not seeing more gameplay trailers here in the near future. Next on the list, we have Project Magnum. Now, I haven't heard anything about this until just the other week where I was researching co-op games and trying to find the best ones for you guys. But it is a new shooter for PC and PlayStation consoles, and it looks like a blend of Destiny and Devil May Cry. Project Magnum presents beautiful visuals and attractive and unique characters based in a sci-fi style player versus environment worldview. It also provides exciting battles using various skills, actions, and guns, as well as the fun of high-quality PvE shooter battles that target huge bosses. Many are already comparing it to the likes of Destiny 2 and other looter shooters, but the looting aspect hasn't been shown or spoken of. On the other hand, it looks like it will feature large areas or maybe one giant open world where you can encounter giant battles dynamically with your teammates. Now this kind of gives me vibes of Outriders, and so hopefully this doesn't flop, and hopefully we see more about this game and that it's worth our time. Now, unfortunately, there is no set date on this, but rumors say the absolute earliest would be end of 2022, if not sometime in 2023. Lord has returned! Ha 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 ha, fools! Your party of heroes can't stop me! Who's ready to rickety role play? Spoiler, it's you, baby. Ah, oh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. This is going to be a great game. If you love any of the Borderlands games or even a good co op experience in general, this is going to be an awesome game. It's the upcoming action role playing first person shooter video game developed by Gearbox Software and published by 2K Games. It is a spin off in the Borderlands series and a successor to Borderlands 2 Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. The game can be played solo or with up to three other players in online or local split screen multiplayer, that beautiful couch co op. The campaign is set within the world of a fantasy themed tabletop role playing game. Tiny Tina will be its dungeon master and can change the game's world on the fly. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands players can create their own playable characters. The game features six different character classes and for the first time in the series players can mix and match these skills for their characters. The playable avatars have stats which can be upgraded using hero points. Players have a large arsenal of weapons and fire ramps at their disposal and for the first time in the series players can wield melee weapons. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is set to release in 2022 for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. We're stuck in this wreck until everybody learns the rules. Yep, all of them. Rule number one, certain weapons work better on certain monsters. Learn it? Or die. Of course, I can't leave out Endless Dungeon, which is a roguelite tactical action game. Set in the award-winning Endless Universe, recruit a team of shipwrecked heroes, plunge into a long-abandoned space station, and protect your crystal against never-ending waves of monsters. Or die trying, get reloaded, and try again. Round up your posse from a roster of heroes from all over the galaxy. Every one of these explorers, treasure hunters, and outlaws has their own tale to spin. So head to the saloon, equip your squad of three, and see if you can get to the core of the station. You can control the whole squad by your lonesome or round up some friends to unlock the station's secrets and see if you can manage to hightail it out of there together. Have you got the grit to escort the crystal solo, or would you rather test your tactical team and survival skills through the heaps of doors and herds of monsters? Endless Dungeon does not currently have a release date, but all signs point to sometime in 2022. If you've got all that going, but you still can't win, you gotta change the squad. Tag team. I'm in. Pobre Grivon. I'm gonna have to take you apart again. Hey, Dove. Anything else? Yes, this too. And 
25 centimeters dramatically elongated go on make yourself useful <laughs> So, uh, that was fun, right? Now, if I was to add a game to my top three of anticipated games of 2022, it would be Redfall. Redfall is an open-world co-op first-person shooter from Arcane Austin, aka Arcane Studio, but for their branch here in Austin, Texas. The award-winning team behind Prey and Dishonored, which are phenomenal games. I recommend you guys go play those if you haven't already. Continuing Arcane's legacy of carefully crafted worlds and love of creative game mechanics, Redfall brings the studio's signature gameplay to the cooperative action and FPS genres. Redfall blends single and multiplayer options seamlessly, allowing the players to venture into the darkness alone or to squad up with up to three friends for four-player co-op. Teammates can try different hero loadouts and combine their strengths to overcome the Vampire Legion and their brood of maniacal followers. Trapped with a handful of survivors against malevolent enemies threatening to bleed the town dry, choose your hero from a diverse roster, grouping up with others to create the perfect time of Vampire Slayers. Now, of course, that's about all we know about this game, and I know there's a whole lot more than what we've seen, but it kind of gives me some Destiny vibes, maybe in a tiny bit of Division. Now, granted, it is a first-person shooter, but nonetheless, very excited for this one. Hope to know more about this, and it is set to be released in summer of 2022 for Xbox Series X and S and PC. Layla, with me. Get me on the roof now. Thank you, Layla. You're the best. Oh, Jacob, don't even mention it. But we're now down to the last of three on my top 15 list of co-op games, and this one is called The Day Before. It is an open-world MMO survival set in a deadly post-pandemic America overrun by flesh-hungry infected zombies and survivors killing each other for food, weapons, and cars. You can search abandoned vehicles, houses, and skyscrapers as you scavenge for resources, crush the infected and other players with realistic weapons, becoming a legend of the new world. Explore beautiful yet dangerous places with stunningly detailed vehicles. Take part in the restoration of the former society before it's too late. The day before will contain elements of both PvE and PvP. There will be a safe area in the game with the survivor colony. Here you can help with the restoration of society and sell your loot while communicating safely with other players. Again, this kind of gives me a little bit of that Division vibe. And we don't know much about it because they just give us tiny, and I mean very tiny, teasers to the point that majority of the people think this game is actually fake. However, we do know that the day before has a set release date of June 21st, 2022 for PC with hopes of next-gen consoles. Now, with that being said, we'll have to find out in June if this game is legit or not, or if they're going to continue to delay it. Justice League. I think of Wonder Woman, Superman, Green Lantern. You don't want to mess with that lot. But you, Barry, you're just the team mascot, aren't you, mate? The loser of the league, folks. The fastest man alive. It's the Flash. Next on the list, we have Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, which is an action adventure third person shooter in development from rocksteady studios which were the creators of the critically acclaimed batman arkham series which were actually pretty good this title combines the studio's signature character driven story gameplay with third person shooter action to deliver a gaming experience unlike any other yeah 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 discover the origins of amanda waller's infamous task force x aka the suicide squad as harley quinn Deadshot, Captain Boomerang, and King Shark begrudgingly embark on their mission to take down the world's greatest DC superheroes, the Justice League. Each squad member has their own unique moveset with enhanced traversal abilities to freely explore the dynamic open world of Metropolis, along with a variety of weapons to customize and skills to master. Fans can tailor their experience whether playing on their own as a single player or teaming up with friends in multiplayer co-op. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is set to release sometime in 2022 for PS5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Shoot out in progress without 
Elliot Center. Multiple accidents. Too many. We can't respond to them all. Where the hell is our backup? All units at Elliot Center. Air support inbound. Hostiles opening fire on upper floors. Air support, can you do a fly around? And last on the list, we have Gotham Knights. In Gotham Knights, Batman is dead, and a new, expansive criminal underworld has swept the streets of Gotham City. It is now up to the Batman family, Batman Girl, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Robin, to protect Gotham. From solving mysteries that connect the darkest chapters in the city's history to defeating notorious villains and epic confrontations, you must evolve into the new Dark Knight and save the streets from descent into chaos. Gotham Knights is an open-world action RPG set in the most dynamic and interactive Gotham City yet. Patrol Gotham's five distinct boroughs in solo play or with one other hero, aka friend, and drop in on criminal activity wherever you find it. Gotham Knights is set to release in 2022 for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. Montoya here. Heard you down there having some fun. Fun's one word for it. Now that wraps up my top 15 co-op anticipated list, but I do have some honorable mentions of 2022 games that have already come out and one that has yet to be released, and that is Skur Ritual, if that's even how you pronounce it. Based off of the Skur Maiden is a co-op survival FPS and spiritual successor to the award-winning occult horror made of Skur. Play solo or up to four players to survive the supernatural onslaught of the Quiet Ones. Skur Ritual is a wave shooter with a well-written story campaign built in. Expect close-up action, dark adventure, zombie s survival, lots of customization, and some gothic science fiction for good measure. It's giving me some Left 4 Dead vibes, some World War Z vibes, basically that four-player co-op wave shooter type vibes. Now we literally know nothing about this game, as they've only given us like 15 second little glimpse, trailer, shorts, etc. about this game. But I will say the atmosphere, the way it looks looks great and we love co-op games here on the channel so i figured i'd point that out for you guys next on my honorable mentions list is dying light 2 which of course is already out but i wanted to bring this one up since it looks so good and i've heard plenty of good reviews about it i really enjoyed playing dying light 1 and this seems to make everything better than it was before it's an excellent open world zombie game with parkour which i'm sure at this point everyone knows about this game and you can play without the four player co-op which means this is an excellent co-op game for you to play in the year 2022 and last of my honorable mentions is elden ring literally just came out the other day and i gotta say it's been super hyped up and there's a reason for it it's pretty freaking fun for me being a brand new Soulsborne player who's never played any of the dark souls or anything like that bloodborne etc playing this i'm actually having quite some fun now it is very difficult very challenging and very overwhelming at times and the co-op is not fantastic i will say that but when you do get it working and when you do get to go down those dungeons and fight those bosses with your friends i will say it's a good time all in all, it's a fun software title, and it's pretty awesome. And even if you end up playing by yourself, it's a good time overall. Anyways, guys, hope you like the list that I provided. Let me know if I missed any, because I'm sure there are plenty more co-op games out there in the comment section down below. Hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.